Tonight at 10, the search for a vandal who spray painted a North Nashville mural. It's on the side of a nonprofit. Our Danielle Jackson joins us here in studio tonight. Danielle, you spoke to the nonprofit's founder and the murals artist. They think this vandal is trying to send a message. Well, Tracy and Marius, for Gideon's Army, this damage goes beyond just the artwork. The organization believes someone is trying to take away their voice. When I pulled up to the building and saw that the murals had been spray painted, it really took my breath away. Shocked and appalled reaction from Rashida Fertuga, the founder of Gideon's Army is a North Nashville nonprofit building restorative justice and youth empowerment programs. Police say before midnight last Tuesday, a man pulled up to the building and spray painted both murals. Charles Key is the artist behind one of the pieces. If you destroy what I create, I'm just going to create it again. Key says many times artists find murals out of their own pockets. This is a picture of Rashida, uh, the owner of the nonprofit organization, and we kind of just um, went back and did some hieroglyphics and kind of connecting with the black culture from Africa. He says displaying artwork that's reflective of the community is important and to see it defaced is truly unfortunate. It kind of hit different because normally if you vandalize, you might vandalize the whole thing, but to target just the face for, for me, it seemed like they wanted to erase. They wanted to erase the figure. It is hardened because nobody would do this to the wings in the gulch, I don't believe. Gideon's Army is undecided right now if they will move forward with charges. Rashida says it's a decision that will ultimately be up to the youth. It's important for the people who've been harmed to really make that decision. And so we've been having conversations about just how they want to handle it. But what they do know is they won't allow vandals from stopping their mission of bringing positive change in their community. And we will stay through spray paint and vandalism. We will stay through attacks. We will stay when we are blackballed. We will stay through whatever it takes to make sure that our children are safe. And two women were spotted painting their names on one of the murals. Police say they are not responsible for vandalism on the actual artwork. 